Tonight, police are looking for a gunman who fired several shots into a Texas state senator's Houston office. We first told you about the bullet holes that were found in Senator John Whitmire's office during our newscast at 11 a.m. Tonight, neighbors and the senator himself are talking about it. Channel 2's Phil Archer is joining us now from the Heights. So, Phil, does the senator have any idea who might have done this? Well, no, neither the senator or police can answer that question yet. Uh, Texas Rangers and Houston crime scene investigators spent about six hours here today collecting evidence as they try to figure that out. At least four bullets were fired into the building sometime after midnight, creating gouges in the interior walls with one bullet shattering a ceremonial flag. This is serious, uh, certainly concern for my staff. When they got here this morning, they thought it was a uh, damage inside was weather related. Neighbors reported hearing multiple shots. We got up. Uh... To go to the restroom about two o'clock, uh, a little after two, and then uh, we heard gunfire. So I ran to my room and uh, I didn't come outside. Last night I was startled awake. I heard, you know, some banging sounds. At first I thought it was thunder. Then with the cadence, I realized it was just too, it was too quick and too exact, and the vibrations were shaking, you know, shook the house. This morning, Teresa Vandiver found spent rifle shells outside her house four blocks away. But the fact is that this gunfire was going on from 8th Street all the way to 13th, from Yale all the way over to at least two lanes. As chairman of the Senate Criminal Justice Committee, Whitmire has been threatened in the past. He recently made news attempting to speed up mental health treatment for accused cop killer Shannon Miles. And last night, while out with friends, he says he was approached by a man who falsely claimed to be a police officer. I was in uh, a restaurant last night and a, a strange guy came up in a trench coat and and this morning somebody reminded me of him you know he was a, he was a little creepy but he says for now it is pointless to speculate and there's no way to really know what prompted last night's attack the senator says he is most concerned now uh, about the future safety of his staff on any given day about five people work in this building and for the foreseeable future, they're going to be protected by a precinct one deputy constable who will be assigned, you can see a car right there, be assigned here 24 hours a day, around the clock. Reporting live in the Heights, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.